Hi, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and you are watching the Spectrum AR636 programming series. This is part 18, connecting to the AR636 using the Bluetooth programming module. It's important to note at this point that there is a flaw that I have found with the AS3X programming application that requires a bit of a workaround. Due to this, I highly recommend performing the steps of this part of the video series on the bench rather than trying to do it at the field. The flaw that I found is that the AS3X programming application, upon initial uh, connection to the AR636 using the Bluetooth programming module, may overwrite the data that's already written to the module. If that happens, we need to go back into the Spectrum programming software, re-upload the settings from the Spectrum programming software, and the next time that we connect to the Bluetooth application, the settings from the receiver will get written to the application and you shouldn't have those problems again. Again, this is the first time that you connect using the Bluetooth application on your mobile device. Uh, and after that, it should be good to go. I haven't had any issues on the second and subsequent times that I have tried to connect. It's only on that initial connection that it may overwrite your data. And if that happens at the field, your whole day is ruined. So get this done on the bench at home, and when you go to connect at the field, if you need to make any adjustments, it'll be nice and easy for you. The first time you start the AS3X programming application, you may find that it wants to go directly into model setup. If this happens, there's a big uh, arrow pointing to the right in the upper right hand corner. Just tap that arrow uh, until you get to the end screen. Uh, and acknowledge all of the uh, menu options that come up. We'll just keep tapping and when you get to this last screen that has surface set up, there's going to be a white box in the upper right hand corner. Just tap that box and we'll go back to the model selection screen. You'll see first model zero there. What we can do is just tap and hold uh, that first model and hit the, um, the little delete icon in the upper left side of the icon and that will delete the model. All right, from this point, we can add a new model. So just tap new model, select default safe. We'll rename the model. So here we want that to be called Recom Roy P51. We'll click done and we'll hit the back arrow in the upper left hand corner. And that will take us back to the model select screen We'll just tap on P51, and now that model is selected, and we're ready to continue uh, with connecting the AR636 receiver to the application. Once we have the Bluetooth programming module plugged into the AR636 receiver, we can go ahead and connect our flight battery to the ESC, which will power up the AR636, and you will see the programming module have an orange flashing light in the upper right hand corner of the module. Once the orange light on the Bluetooth programming module starts to flash, we can go back into the AS3X programming software and tap the Bluetooth icon in the upper left hand corner. When you do that, it will scan for devices and you will see Horizon BLE, which is Bluetooth Low Energy, and a code to the right hand side. Let's go ahead and tap on the Horizon BLE And at this point, this is the glitch I was talking about. It says that the receiver is out of sync and it is putting what is in the phone into the receiver. So it just overwrote everything that we programmed into the AR636. Now typically when you connect outside of the first time, it would ask you if you want to use what's on your mobile device or if you want to use what's in the receiver. For that initial connection, it will overwrite what's in the receiver so if we go over here to our dashboard, we'll see that all of the settings that we had set for the, uh, the receiver in our Spectrum Programmer has been overwritten. So if we go to Gain and Priority, we'll see that we've got some pretty funky settings here that we don't have any gains and we've got, you know, headings and all kinds of weird stuff going on. So at this point, I'll go ahead and show you how to perform the workaround so we don't have to deal with that going into the future. 
In order to work around the AR636 AS3X programming application on our mobile device where it has overwritten the data, we're going to write the data back to the AR636 using the Spectrum Programmer application like we used before. So here I've opened up the Spectrum Programmer ap application and I have under models I have selected the Recomroy Old Crow P51 safe and we're going to go ahead and connect the USB programming cable to the AR636 receiver. Here we see cable connected but no device. Uh, I've got all the servos disconnected and there's no battery connected so I'll be able to power the AR636 using the USB of my computer. So I'll go ahead and power the cable and confirm that I want to power the cable. And then I'll get the model mismatch because now the settings of the AR636 that the program or that the AR uh, that the AS3X programmer software of the mobile device wrote to the receiver no longer matches what's in the computer. So I'm going to tell the uh, the AR636 or the Spectrum Programmer software that I want to use the computer settings which will write the data that we saved in the computer back to the AR636. At this point we can go ahead and power the receiver down. We can disconnect the programming cable and we can go ahead and go back to our Bluetooth module. Okay, so at this point we've gone ahead and reattached all of our servos and our ESC lead to the AR636 receiver and plugged our Bluetooth programming module back into the bind program port of the AR636. We'll go ahead and reconnect the battery and wait for our Bluetooth programming module to start flashing. And once it does, we can hit the Bluetooth icon in the upper left hand corner. We'll select the Horizon VLE device. Once we have a good connection to the Bluetooth programming module from the AS3X programming application, we'll see the orange light on the Bluetooth programming module light up solid, as can be seen here. Additionally, within the AS3X programming application, you will see receiver connected, as can be seen here. And finally, within the AS3X programming application, once a good, solid connection has been made and you are communicating successfully with your Bluetooth module, you will see that the Bluetooth icon in the upper left hand corner is now in blue. And now you'll see that it says receiver is out of sync. Please use the settings you would like to apply. This is what should happen the first time that you try to connect to the receiver, but it just skips right over there and transfers settings to the receiver instead of allowing you to transfer settings from the receiver, which is what we want to do. We want to take the programming information that's in the receiver and write it to the phone. So we're going to select transfer settings from receiver, which will write the settings that are in this AR636 to the phone. And now every time you connect to the phone um, via the uh, Bluetooth programming module, you'll see that all of your settings rolled over just fine. So now when we go to flight mode one, we'll see that we have rate gains of zero with our heading gain as NA. When we go to flight mode two, we'll see the settings that we programmed in earlier in the series with 40% gain on the roll and pitch, which is our aileron and elevator, and 50% gain on our rudder. And we'll also see that on flight mode three. So remember, flight mode one was our AR636 uh, AS3X uh, gyro off. This was gyro only, and flight mode three was our safe mode. And now we'll see that each time we reconnect, so I'll go ahead and power up the AR636, wait for my Bluetooth programming module to start flashing, hit my Bluetooth icon in the upper left-hand corner of the application, select Horizon BLE as my device, and I'll get receiver connected. It won't ask me uh, to choose one or the other because there is not a model mismatch. Um, and every time that I go into the AR636 using the Bluetooth uh, module from this point forward, uh, it should recognize a model mismatch and allow me to either use the settings that are already on the phone and transfer those to the receiver or take the settings that are in the receiver 
and transfer them back into the phone. That's everything you need to know to get you up and running, connecting your AR636, using the AS3X programming application on your mobile device, using the Bluetooth programming module. Be sure to stay tuned for part 19, where we'll discuss field adjustments using your mobile applications.